Mtazamaji hata kabla sijaendelea nataka nikupe nafasi uzitazame hizi video sivili. Tumefurahi sana the graduates. Hapa graduates mtalala hapa mnaenda nyumbani. Eh? Mtalala hapa. Nipange maneno ya bash kidogo. <laughs> Eh? Ni bage bash kidogo. Na mna hii na mna ile. Na pana na hapa. Na juu na chini. Na mna hiyo na mna hiyo na mna hiyo. Eh? Haya nitawacha 500,000 ya bash ya graduates. Ndio muweze muweze kuendelea. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. Na mwishowe ningetaka to introduce our principal secretary nominee for the State Department of Energy, Alex Kamau Wachira Mpigie Makofi. Uyo diyo nominee wetu hapa katika mambo ya energy atakuwa kwa serikali yetu. Tumesikizana graduates. Yeah. And because ya hile poem ya mwepata kazi ya kutafuta kazi. Nafikiri nitaandika mtu moja. Sindio? Eh? Uh, before I go, tanavuta mtu moja a nutrition, a nutrition and dietitian Akuje pale ofisi yetu watusaidie Sini andika mmoja? Eh, unajua hata nikija lazima nifanya kitu, zindio? Siwezi yodoka tuna muna hiyo diyo uyo moja tuchukue moja Asanteni sana mungu wa Na siku tutamuambia wekelea fulani makosa Shitaki fulani na maneno ya uongo Serikali ya William Ruto inafuata sheria na inafuata katiba ya Kenya and going forward that is the way this country will be governed kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka nimalizie hapo eh, niko na mali ya kanisa ningetaka bishop na kemaru Asante sasa ningetaka huyo ndo mtu ambaye anatutengenezea pay bill. Sasa hiyo pay bill tutakuwa tunakata asilimia fulani ya mishahara yetu. Tunarusha kwenye hiyo pay bill, tukisharusha kwenye hiyo pay bill ndo ikuye itusaidie. Yaani game ni hii hapa. Nataka mnisikilize, nataka unielewe. Usipokuwa makini hautanielewa. Yaani sasa hivi tumefikia situation ambayo tunawasaidia ili watusaidie. Yaani tunawasaidia kutusa, yani tunawasaidia ili watusaidie. Si wewe una pesa eh? Una, una mishahara fulani ndogo. Wewe unaikata afu naiweka kwenye pay bill. Ikishaenda kwenye pay bill, sasa itatoka kwenye pay bill tena ije itusaidie. <laughs> so, yani hapa yani tayari vitu vimechanganyikiwa kabisa mtazamaji wangu. Afu kitu kibaya <laughs> kitu ambacho kinanishangaza ni kwamba mtu ambaye anataka tu donate ndo anatoa 500,000 ya bash. <laughs> Ona ni kitu kipi ambacho kitatokea kwenye hiyo bash? Watu wanakunywa pombe. Yaani um, anatoa 500,000 watu watoto wakunywe pombe kwa sababu watu wame graduate. Wakunywe pombe, wapige sherehe, kesho wamkie manyumbani. So unashindwa kuelewa hapo umewasaidiaje? Yaani kuna vitu vingine muhimu kabisa tunatakiwa ku, 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 ku kuangalia, tunatakiwa kushughulikia. Wewe unatoa 500,000 ya bash. 500,000 ya bash. Eh hey! Ah, sawa bash sawa tuachane na bash. Wewe umeona hapo kabisa pasta anapewa pesa kwenye bag? Ah, si umeona kabisa kwa macho yako? Alafu bado mnataka sisi tutoe pesa, tuweke kwenye pay bill, tukisheka kwenye pay bill inarudi kutusaidia tena. Yaani tunawasaidia kutusaidia. Ah. Hivi sisi tumeweka pale kwa ajili ya sisi tupate usaidizi kutoka kwao. Unanielewa? Wananchi si ndio wamewapea nafasi namna ambavyo mara nyingi wanasema au watu seme Mungu basi. Mungu si amewapea nafasi. William Samoe Ruto rais Ugadhi Gashagwa naibu rais wamewekwa pale kwa ajili ya kutusaidia sisi sio eti kwamba tena sisi tutoe tuweke kwenye pay bill 
ndo watusaidie haiwezekani heri basi tujisaidie bila rais yes true sio lazima tuweke kwenye pay bill tunaweza si tu kwamba tujui wasitufanye tuonekane wajinga kwani sisi hatujui watu ambao hawana kabisa tu tuwatembelee tuwapelekee sisi wenyewe kwenye hiyo pay bill bado kuna mtu ambaye atakuwa na Iran trust me 100% ataikula sehemu ya hiyo pesa ni lazima ndo unakutaga una, 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 una issue inatokea oh scandal eh pesa ya pay bill sio mtu fulani sio katumia vipi kama bilioni 16 juzi tu Wigadi Gashagu anatuambia kwamba wao ndio wametumia kwenye kusambaza vyakula na nini hasa zile lori sijui kumi, sijui sasa ni bilioni 16 jamani ah mnatudanganya mnatudanganya so poor sometimes eh nishasemaga nisha hapa kwenye uh, analysis kwamba hata uongo muda mwingine unahitaji akili uh, usidanganye tu kwa sababu unadanganya zungumza ukijua kwamba huyu mtu ambaye namwambia hivi anaweza akanigundua muda wote ule anaweza kanigundua uwezi kukwambia watu watengeneze pay bill afu wewe unapelekea pasta pesa kwani haujui sema ambapo unafaa upeleke pesa au umekosa sehemu pa kupeleka pesa unataka watu waweke pay bill watu wanateseka tutengenezeni pay bill eti ikuje isaidie watu wengine au ikuje tusaidie tena ya swali ni je wewe unaacha 500,000 ya bash una expect sisi tufanyaje mna expect sisi tufanyaje kuna kitu ambacho amezungumza uh, tena Rigathi Gashagwa kama kawaida yake hakuna siku ambayo ashaye kushika mic akatengeneza mimi sijawahi kuona hakuna siku hata moja amewahi kushika au kukamata microphone na akatengeneza Rigathi anasema kwamba we want to tell cartels and conmen that they will not know peace in their lifetime taking advantage of the drought situation to con people money when people are hungry and dying in and god that is all uh, and dying is an ungodly and unacceptable okay kitu ambacho najiuliza ni uh, hiki hapa mtazamaji wangu hivi kwenye hii statement nani anakuwa conned kwa sababu anasema people are taking advantage kwa sababu ya drought so they are conning people nashindwa kuelewa ni nani anakuwa conned ni serikali na con mwananchi mwananchi ana con serikali au watu ambao wako ndani ya serikali ndio wanakon mwananchi au si ni wao ndio walisema kabisa this time hakutakuwa na cartels na kama kweli Rigathi Gashagwa ni mtu ambaye anapenda kusema ukweli ni kwa sababu gani asituambie tu ni kina nani wana take advantage ya watu sisi pia tujue labda sisi tunakuwa wana take advantage na hatujui so watuambie ni kina nani hao wana take advantage yani tuwe tumejitayarisha tumejipanga mapema kabisa yes i think watuambie and kuna kitu kimoja ambacho nimekuja kugundua hivi karibuni watu hawana chills kabisa and wanamwambia live live <laughs> hawataki mchezo kuna mtu amemwambia hapa take food to Turkana and not Muranga as Pastor Dorcas is doing Muranga kuna chakula cha kutosha let us stop being selfish wao wenyewe wanataka tusaidiane tuone namna ambavyo watu wengine watasaidiwa ambao hawajiwezi na wao 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 wa wenyewe anasema vizuri kabisa watu wasichukue advantage ya issue ya drought unanielewa but bado unakuta kwamba wanachukua vyakula wanapeleka kule central ambapo kuna vyakula bado wanaishi at least wanaishi wanaishi wako vizuri bado wanaweza kalima kule turkana hata maji waoni hata maji ya kunywa tu hawapati ndo sehemu ambazo zinatakiwa kupelekwa misaada sio central namna ambavyo wanafanya dorcas gashagwa sio kitu kizuri angalieni mnafanyaje hiyo sasa ndo advantage advantage ambayo anazungumzia aseme kwamba wao haoni anafaa aone hiyo na i'm very sure kama kungetokea mtu mwingine anafanya hivyo angelalamika wao rigadhi gashago kwamba kwa nini mnapeleka vyakula sehemu ambapo ambapo watu wako sawa alafu mnaacha sehemu ambazo uh, watu wameathirika pakubwa kabisa so kuna vitu vingine ambavyo nadhani tunafaa tuangalie mtazamaji kuna mtu akasema hapa sitting on 7 billion corruption proceeds when people are starving in or is equally demonic. <laughs> Yeye yeah, ndo alianza hiyo issue as you are godly, as you are godly, as you are unacceptable, as you nini. Unaona watu wanavyomchanua sasa hivi wewe sasa hivi wewe una bilioni 7 ambao hujuzikati tu umeshinda. Hiyo kesi wewe toa bilioni zingine kapeleke sema ambapo watu wanahitaji msaada. Si kutuambia oh na wewe una, una, una bilioni 7. Mwingine anasema kwamba alafu serikali inatupea pay bill na imechukua subsidy ya unga na mafuta. This is on goal. 
wa Kenya wanaka chill siku hizi. Alafu mlisema being a Kenyan is a candidate of death. Live long honorable Korea. Unaona eh? Walituambia kwamba kukua Kenya tu yani wewe unaishi Kenya tu yani hiyo ni hiyo ni hiyo ni customer wewe ni customer wa kifo. Hiyo sasa ni ni, ni, ni godly eh? Hiyo ni vizuri. Mbona asizungumzie vitu ambavyo vinatakiwa kuzungumziwa? Anazungumzia tu vitu ambavyo havitusaidii sisi. Tunafaa tuangalie hivyo vitu mtazamaji wangu and wasijifanye ni kama hawaoni. Kuna mwingine anasema cartels, conmen and state capture ship have docked at Mombasa with GMO maize. These are interesting times to be a Kenyan. True. Tukitaka kuangalia sasa advantage ambayo watu wanachukulia kwa sababu ya msimu wa uh, wa drought wa kiangazi naweza nikasema hivyo bas wao kama serikali ndio wanai play hiyo advantage ni wao wanaichukua kwa sababu wanajua kabisa tunahitaji chakula and kwa sababu tunahitaji chakula unajua mtu ambaye uko njaa ukimpea chochote ya apingi atakula and wanachukua advantage kwa kutuletea GMO ambao wanajua kabisa itatuathiri unaelewa itatuumiza kwa sasa sisi tunataka hiyo chakula na twesi tukakataa tunakubali wanatuletea So that's how they are playing that game. Ndio namna ambavyo wanacheza hiyo uh, michezo yao. Tunaendelea. Kuna mtu anasema he takes relief food to Kikuz in Central and hiyo ni, ni mtu mwingine tena anazungumza. He takes relief food to Kikuz in Central yet the real hustlers deserving the food are Turkana and people of our people in North Eastern. You will also not see heaven. Yeye yeah, ndo alianza hiyo story and godly. Unaona sasa hivi imezunguka mpaka sasa ime, 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 imefika kwake. Vitu ambavyo wanafanya sio vitu ambavyo vinatakikana and wanatakiwa ku solve kabla muda haujaenda mtazamaji wangu maoni yako ni gani tu pia kupitia sehemu ya comments na subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye